Well, switching gears back to COVID with cases on the rise, while well, New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo makes millions off of a book deal of how he handled the state's pandemic response. Yeah, joining us now for more on all this is New York Congressman and candidate for governor in the state of New York, Congressman Lee Zeldin. Congressman, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. It's great to be with you. Uh, pleasure to have you on, sir. Last week, as you know, the DOJ suddenly dropped the civil rights probe into Governor Andrew Cuomo over the nursing home deaths and COVID-19 policies. 15,000 New Yorkers lost their lives uh, as a result. What would you make of Joe Biden's Justice Department suddenly letting the governor of New York off the hook here? Uh, well, I certainly disagree with the decision as that particular inquiry was looking into the public nursing homes in the state. The Civil Rights Division, I believe, should have been investigating and pursuing accountability. Now, th there was a separate inquiry that was done a couple months later. So that, that first one that was just dropped started in August. Uh, but then there was another letter sent to the state by DOJ in October. DOJ hasn't weighed in publicly as far as I know. Uh, with regards to that look into the uh, private nursing homes. And DOJ does have jurisdiction when the private nursing homes are accepting that Medicare, Medicaid funding uh, to make sure that people are not being mistreated. And we certainly, I believe that the nursing home order, the cover up, the book deal, and so much more warrant the investigation and accountability from what is now investigations at different levels of government. So while the governor might wanna take a victory lap, uh, it, it, it might, that might be his strong desire publicly. He is a very far from the end game here because yeah. a bunch of investigations continue and there's an election waiting for him November 8, 2022, if he even makes it that far. So, Lee, a couple of months ago when the truth started to emerge about the nursing home scandal, the cover up, the book deal, the allegations of abuse, sexual harassment, you had members of both parties in New York saying Cuomo has got to go. Well, now Cuomo is berating people who want to see these investigations continue, and he's also playing the best defense is a strong offense. So he's out there pretending like nothing is wrong. He's raising money for his reelect. Will it work? Will he ever be held accountable? I think to a certain extent, he's following the model you saw from the Virginia governor, where a lot of calls from even his own party, uh, the Virginia governor uh, decided not to resign. And Governor Cuomo is following that path of just saying, you know, damn the torpedoes, I'm not going to heed anyone's call. I'm elected to a four-year term. I'm not going to resign. He's, as you pointed out, continuing to raise money for re-election. I believe that this is the end of Andrew Cuomo's time in elected office one way or the other. Does it end with impeachment, resignation, indictment, losing a primary, a general? Does he not run again? I don't know for sure, but I don't believe that by the end of 2022, he's going to continue to be serving as governor of the state. The governor of Virginia didn't have to run again. He was termed out. Andrew Cuomo does. So if he chooses his path of refusing to resign and trying to avoid accountability, right. it's going to catch up to him at some point over the course of this next year and a half. Congressman, great point. However, uh, the Ralph Northam situation and what Andrew Cuomo has done are two completely different things. And what Andrew Cuomo yeah. has done with the sexual uh, harassment allegations and the nursing home deaths. Those are two vastly different things than what Ralph Norman, uh, Northam did. Uh, Congressman, so nice to have you on. That's Congressman Lee Zeldin. We appreciate it. Come back and see us. I'd love to talk to you about the, uh, the race for governor in the state of New York in the future as well. Have a great day. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.